Salutations everyone, this is Razor here bringing you some hardcore kill confirmed on the map standoff using my TAC 45 here. It's got my blinged out knife. And today what I'm going to talk about is hardcore. I know it's not uh, a subject that is, uh, you know, near and dear to many people's hearts. A lot of people don't really care about hardcore because most, you know, your typical COD player doesn't play it. Which is, you know, a shame. You should be able to give everything a try. Because everything has something to offer, whether it be core, hardcore, or, you know, whatever playlist it may be. You always want to uh, broaden your options. And I felt that Black Ops 1 had a fairly good hardcore um, setup outside of, you know, just the, the core problems with Black Ops 1. Like, you know, Second Chance and the Famasa and Noob Tubes and all that stuff. Uh, but Modern Warfare 3 rolls around, and it had a decent hardcore as well, outside of Blast Shield not working. For those of you who don't know... Blast Shield uh, didn't do anything in Modern Warfare 3 Hardcore. It didn't protect you against explosives uh, whatsoever because they didn't have a specific multiplier uh, for explosives in Hardcore like Black Ops 1 did. So it made it a useless perk and made explosives even more of a problem than they were, you know, just out of the gate. Uh, so, you know, that was a bit of a problem, but, you know, Modern Warfare 3 Hardcore still worked out pretty decently. Um, especially with, uh, you know, not all of the maps, of course, but it, it was it was an alright showing. And then Black Ops 2, uh, it kind of faltered even more so than Modern Warfare 3, even though it doesn't have all the same problems that Modern Warfare 3 had. Um, Black Ops 2's hardcore just, just never really fit for me. It just never really worked out. Um, it had some pluses, like the pistols worked very well in Hardcore, not to say they didn't work very well in other games, but 5.7, Tac 45, Executioner could kill in two shots at close range, which it couldn't, can't do in core mode, unless you're, you know, pr praying to a leprechaun and you, you know, find Bigfoot during the blue moon, or, you know, one of these rare instances, but, uh... That, you know, the, the pistols are very fun to use, and the Cap 40, in my opinion, is better than any submachine gun is in Hardcore. Uh, just out, out of how I, uh, how I um, perform with them. I, I've tried using a submachine gun on Hardcore, and just the Cap 40 just works better for me. And I know, care package fail right there, it's going to land on the awning. But <laughs> at least it'll be a trap for, uh, for the other guys. Confirming kills left or right, because that is what I do. Uh, the Guardian is very, very fun and very useful in Hardcore because, as you know, it'll it'll kill people rather quickly. And the Guardian was a nice addition to this game that was kind of unexpectedly good. And w even more so in Hardcore because of how more effective that kind of stuff uh, would be, especially for, like, Capture the Flag and things like that. And the EMP nade is, is pretty much standard when you're playing Hardcore Capture the Flag. With all the Guardians and Sentry Guns, you need to run EMP nades. Um, in hardcore for, for pretty much any objective game mode, kill confirmed not included in that. As you can see, I just took out a guardian right there with the EMP grenade. Got to run with two, uh, which is very nice because you can only run with one in Modern Warfare 3. So as you can see, it had some pluses, but um, the maps overall for Capture the Flag just didn't really work for me. I mean, they weren't very good in Modern Warfare 3 either, uh, but for Black Ops 2, the Capture the Flag's really only worked on a couple of maps. This was one of them, standoff, but uh, at the same time, you know, with certain score streaks and, and attachments and weapon setups, you know, all the problems that bog down core mode uh, have a even, have an even more profound effect in hardcore, whether that be, you know, something that's strong being something that's even better, being something that's weak, being something that's decent, or, you know, stuff like target finders and head glitching stuff just becomes uh, more of a useful tactic in Hardcore, so more people do it. And, you know, Hardcore is more of a campy uh, mode for, for most things, say like Team Deathmatch or, or Domination, more people are going to be camping in Hardcore than usual. But when it comes to like Kill Confirmed, Capture the Flag, uh, Search and Destroy, it's going to be the normal amount of camping for that game mode, so there's not a lot of changes there. But, uh, I mean, the sniper rifles didn't really uh, have much of an effect on Hardcore, whether good or bad, when you compare it to how it handled in core game modes. But it's just the maps. Like, say for Drone, for instance, all I needed was someone sniping up there, 
And whenever you have a really strong camping spot in core mode, it makes it even stronger tenfold when it comes to hardcore. Um, so, you know, the maps just didn't really work for it. Uh, that's one of the things that I said straight out of the gate with Marvel Warfare 3. The biggest problem with that game was the maps. And the biggest problem with Black Ops 2, once again, is the maps. It has much a much bigger effect on how the game handles um, more than most people realize. And, you know, when it comes to the equipment and the score streaks, that can have a rather big effect as well if there are some, you know, major mistakes that are made, whether that be like the welfare system or RC cars or hunter, you know, no skilled drones or something like that. So these things will always be, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have a bigger effect in hardcore and, you know, can make or break that that game mode, that game type, I should say. Um, because hardcore just, just didn't really work for me. I mean, as some of the maps were were okay, but as you know, just the maps in Black Ops 2 just really, really suck, and the DLCs didn't really help at all. I've said time and time again that, um, I mean, when, when it comes to, like, the Black Ops maps, like Summit and Fire Range, those will, you'll still be able to hold your own, but with the different weapons and how they handle in Black Ops 2 as compared to the first one, which, you know, drastically different when you talk about the snipers or the shotguns. It, uh, it just didn't make for as good of an experience as it was on the first game. And outside of Grind, which has its ups and downs, pretty much all the other DLC maps are a piece of shit. And that doesn't really help when you, you know, in a game type like Hardcore, where it just, you don't have very many good maps to deal with, uh, you know, right out of the gate. So that was a disappointment. And, and, as for, and the weapons, really... You know, zero recoil doesn't really help a lot. Most of the maps didn't have really good flanking routes. Standoff was okay, but, um, you know, nothing really compares to, like, how hardcore handled on, like, let's say, grid or uh, d d cracked or something like that from the first Black Ops. You know, the map can make or break d different game types, and when you throw in hardcore into the mix, whether that be, you know, with noob tubes or target finders or head glitching, uh, all that stuff just has a, a rather negative impact on it. And the maps don't help facilitate action very well either. Like I said, the pistols worked out really well. The uh, the assault shield is a big thing for me, more so than most people. As you can see, that dude totally failed there, which I'm sure he's used to, and I'm used to it as well. The riot shield in Modern Warfare 3 worked so amazingly well for hardcore. It was still the worst weapon to use in the game, don't get me wrong. But it was still so much more useful and so much more fun in Modern Warfare 3 um, Riot Shield as compared to the Black Ops 2 Assault Shield, which is just a piece of shit. And from what I have seen, from the few footage that I have seen from the Riot Shield in Ghosts that I think uh, nobody Epic posted, or maybe it was KYR or Speedy, um, it seems much more like what we're used to with the Riot Shield as opposed to that stupid Assault Shield that they gave us in this game really phoned it in they gave it no range uh it didn't cover you pretty much at all it was it's, it was one of the biggest disappointments in this game and when it comes to hardcore you know one hit with that one bash of that right or assault shield is going to kill so that gives me more of an incentive to use it it gives me you know i can do better with it i can get you know those feeds in there for montage and stuff as you guys saw from you know, if you stuck with me front through Modern Warfare 3, I, I got, you know, a lot of Assault Shield shit, as you can see right here. That guy did not know how an Assault Shield works. And I just have it on my back here, just to protect me. Uh, just because, you know, I, that's just what I use the perk point on. Uh, because, you know, in Hardcore, you can really freeze up with what you can use. And uh, hopefully with Ghost they get the secondaries down correctly, which I don't expect from what we've heard from this pick 11 or pick 13 system, you know, whatever it's going to be end up being known as. But the Assault Shield, big disappointment. The maps, big disappointment. Uh, the Squirt Streaks seemed to work out okay. The Guarding was strong, but you know, you could have two EMP grenades, which worked out well there. A uh, hunter killer, no skill drones, or a problem in core, then a problem in hardcore as well. 
and not so many RC cars because the Hunter Killer is easier to get, so you see much more of those, but overall, Hardcore just really didn't do it for me in Black Ops 2, so I'm hoping for Ghost, they get the weapon balance right, they get the, the uh, explosive resistance correct, uh, unlike they did in Modern Warfare 3, and the maps, of course, is going to facilitate that action most of all. So, final score here is 42 and 15. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.